Great shout out to Ecofrost Solar Solutions for sponsoring uh, these extreme boating videos for the month of June and July. Thank you guys. Visit them in the description below and find the links and contact details. Wave Tons is the first one to launch today. Couldn't see where the skipper is, but it's on the power down the channel. Standing a little bit too close to this side. Let's just move. There you go. It's a nice stable platform, this tripod. A Mini Vision 5322. Wave dancer lying there in the sunlight. Oh, it's beautiful. And he's on the power. I can't see what he's seeing. There's too much mist. He's turning around. Coming back into the channel. The mist has closed up completely over the surf break. Each one standing up in the back line that I can see now. So I hope that's a slow down. Going a little bit north into the channel between the two bars. Disappearing into the mist. Beautiful launch wave dancer. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. First boat of the Junior Nationals this morning, almost slipped past me, I didn't see the push happening. They were waiting long for the mist to clear up, I think, I don't know what else they were waiting for. He's nice on the power. And he's turning around and he's going north. And he's jumping another one. And he has to go a little bit more north to get in front of that ugly one and he's gonna make it. Oh, beautiful jump over there. Well done. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Looks like wizard coming down. Competition boats are holding back. They're not launching. Turning around, I know he's keeping wizard today. Don't know what wizard is doing. Can't comment. The competition boats are waiting. Wizard is lying here on the channel. So I don't know what they've decided on the launch. Looks like Wizard is oh, he's now sizing up the the sets.
pushing to down the channel towards the the channel between the two sandbars how can I call it out today difficult he's got his line lined up here to the north not how we did it the whole season but it's the only way to do it today yeah speed got him in front well done what I was saying is there's a huge sandbar for forming from the south to the north so they are forced to run north to get in over this between the two sandbanks out into the open but that's what happened when you run north you are trapped there difficult launch I don't have commentary today sorry Anak pushed in, okay coming down the channel It's a really difficult launch here today See how the big boat is doing down the channel here. Making a haste just in front of the sandbank. Slowing down the channel is now full. The channel between the sandbanks is now full of waves. Okay, making a sharp turn there. I must be honest guys the Tomcat and the beach launches under these conditions it's a little bit big a little bit heavy the donkey is riding it nicely this morning he's going for Rose Bowl into this mist he's got a nice gap to the left and he's taking it well done Oki happy hunting enjoy the day Valalala, 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 yeah, Valalala. Now the sun just coming up. It is so cold here on the beach. I, I'm almost shaking uh, in my hands. slowly towards the sandbank because right in front when he's almost in the surf he has to look north to find the gap between the two sandbanks and run down that channel that's why finding it difficult to find pronouns to explain the sandbanks and the, the markers they're looking for and he's on the power he's turning north as i explained it he has to run hot and he's got through the the waves over there <laughs> sorry guys this is this is difficult if you imagine for me to narrate it imagine what the skippers are going through well done happy hunting enjoy the day dream catcher butt cat this is world famous butt cat probably will be in the market soon i heard that they ordered a bigger one but then the factory burned down so i don't know when the bigger one is coming
and Dreamcatcher is moving into that channel between the two sandbars and he's got a nice cap in front of him Dreamcatcher named the Rose Bowl and look at that beautiful launch Craig beautiful launch happy hunting enjoy the day wasabi coming down the channel more the size of the of boat that um, him and dream catchers that's good for surf launching here in St. Lucia bigger boats can punch the waves better yes but they battle when the water is a low like now when there's a lot of sandbars Sabi approaching the sandbar where he has to make a decision on when he's going to turn north. It's nice open in front of him. But he's going to wait it out, make sure that he gets the sets right. It's about 25 30 seconds if you get there and it's flat that you can go through. Well done, Wasabi. Just one ugly one to get over. He's gonna run and around it. Beautifully done. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Predator coming down the channel. Yes, the sandbank from the south on the south is now opening up badly with the tide going out. People want me to call out the the makes of the boats because the commercials and the regular locals I, I know the makes of the boats but like predator I can't remember if it's a butt cat or a carry cat I think it's a it's not either one of the two I would love to help you out so that you also can know what's the boats launching but it's difficult Predator is coming nicely between the two sandbanks. Getting in front of that one. Yes, well done, Predator. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Okay, I think that boat's name is Oh My Suck. Nice. 
small little boat can fit in uh, between the waves and the sandbank nicely but can't really punch a foamy like advantage did yesterday on the second launch just have to get over them uh, what Omasaka is doing is approaching the sandbar slowly he's going to have to wait for the gap and the gap is opened up in front of him now this is where the small boat can't just push over the foamies he's holding back he's going to push push through that one now Rose Bowl is closing up in front of him and he hasn't got much decisions to make it's just pushing through one by one he's gonna run down the corridor between the sandbanks I found my mojo He's running down the corridor between the two sandbanks. Big one on his shoulder. Can he get in front of it? Yes, he got in front of it. Now he can turn east. He's turning east. So if they go too far north, then they run into the next sets. Building up for the next gully. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Uh, it's sick leaf coming down the channel. On the power that boat packs a punch just look at these pull aways you'll have no problem running down the corridor between the two sandbanks ugly one on his shoulder he has to face it he got over it in front of it and Sickleaf has done it beautifully well done happy hunting enjoy the day Mitsu Fishy got the name right eventually Slowly down the channel towards the sandbank. Guys that hasn't got drown riggers and spread the bars yet, you can contact me, I can send you the fish online catalog. It's a fishy pushing hard. It's got a nice gap in front of him. Rose Bill is going to catch him. He'll have to run north little bit yes a little bit more he's over that one nicely done with Sufishi and he's turning out into the ocean well done happy hunting enjoy the day 
Mark and Watermark. Did a beautiful launch yesterday. But most of the boats did beautiful, all the boats did beautiful launches yesterday. And Watermark is on the power, he's got an ugly one that he has to go and punch through. Hey, wait, it's that well done, Mark. Just that little bit of a patience falling back. Look at the beautiful gap that he's got in front of him. Like a walk in the park. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Naughty mate, I pronounce it naughty matter, but it's naughty mate, and he got stuck on the sand. Wiseman can't help him there, they all have to go and do it manually. What's Wiseman gonna do? They have to go and push him, like in the old days. Yes, the other way. I've already decided he's going to use the opportunity of the stuck boat to launch with his charter. And Josh is on the power. He has proved himself to be a, a worthwhile skipper with his little plastic boat that he launched somewhere in the Cape province with a one and a half horsepower motor or three horsepower motor on. The video is, I've loaded the video here on YouTube if you guys want to go and see what Josh can do. He is immensely good with timing immensely good with timing but today you have to know what your boat can punch he's gonna run into that one on his far side nope he's gonna have the speed to get in front of it See what I mean? Josh is immensely, immensely good with timing, guys. Josh on Maverick. Well done, Josh. I'll try and remember to put your number on here so that people can contact you for charter fishing. Even in Zon, there is a killer team on that boat with catching fish. Happy hunting, guys. Enjoy the day. Okay, they done it the difficult way. They got Naughty Mater into the channel. 
to two, four, five people to do it. Five people are cold and wet. But unfortunately, too many people don't want us to manage the air stream out correctly. And um, yeah, they don't want to take the biblical responsibility. So we have to deal with what we've got. And nature has to suffer. But fishing will continue. It is the biggest growing, fastest growing international sport worldwide. You cannot deny it. Also one of the greenest uh, protein that you can get. People are local, people go with their own boats, people catch the fish. It doesn't need to be fly, flown around, they consume it themselves. It's a very green protein. So I'm pro recreational fishing guys. I'm also pro commercial fishing, but much more pro recreational fishing. Commercial fishing I mean the Operators that operate on our coastlines as private operators, not the big companies operating the oceans. It's Stella being spiteful cutting off my, my line here, but anyway, he's got a charter to launch, so he wants to get in front of the commercial boats. Naughty meter, naughty mate. You've got an ugly one in front of you, my friend. He waited it out. If he gets over that foamy, he can run for the gap. Probably, a, yes, he's got the gap. Doesn't need to come down the corridor, he's got the gap. One more. Over. Yes. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. That's whoop up going down the channel. said in a previous video makaira means bullfish all the bullfish sailfish i can't name them all marlin is one of them broad bull is another one they all are from the uh, scientific species makaira still have to make this uh, the marlin the Makaira video explaining why you can't eat a big fully grown Makaira. Oh, he's got a nice splash over lined up for him. Oh, now he climbed over it. And he's turning a little bit south. Now he's running east. He's got a nice gap over there. Yeah, it's a tight fit, but he got it through. Now he's got some ugly ones that he has to get over before they make curlers. And he's done it. Well done, whip up. That is a perfect launch. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Voicemail. 275, two strokes. Looking at the motors, that's probably an older version of Hellcat. But I'm not sure. Please. When, uh, as the boats come past that I know, I will pull them out, the makes and the models. Yeah, it looks like, yes, it's an older model, the old cat. He's hanging around back because Rose Bowl has closed up in front of him. The waves are big, you can see right through them in the sun. Christ, now there was a gap if he was there, 
he could have punched through the foamies and he could have been out in the open ocean. He's hanging back because Rose Bowl is closing up in front of him again. And he's facing a flat on the other side of that foamy. He's aiming back. He's got that ugly one in front of him. Free Spirit arriving. They've got a charter today. And voicemail is on the power. Nope, not yet. He has to punch through that one. That's going to lift him nice. Yes, thumbnail. Thank you, voicemail. Thumbnail. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Is that the launch? Yes, it's launch. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. And Nalo is also launching there where it's very shallow. I know that's a 17 foot Hellcat. A very, very cautious keeper. Very cautious. Brad McLaren made sure that he dialed himself in before he took the children, other people's children on his boat. I think you warned the YouTube servers out by re-watching all the launching videos and then when he got here it all changed again. It changed on a, changes on a daily basis, basis at the moment. Hanging back, going to turn around. Concentrating one of the tractors losing something here on the trailer and I lost Brad there out of the viewfinder for a while. Brad is looking if he can come down the corridor. He has to punch that foamy if he wants to run the corridor. That foamy became a wave. And he's on the power. Yo, look at that Yelkat fly. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done, Brad. Well done. Right, right into the corridor. He has to turn east sometime now. Otherwise, he's, oh, I can't see what he, you know. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna call it. Oh, there he's back in the viewfinder. Well done, Brad. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day.
Then in that call, can grab a launch that I made a mistake on a boat's name. No, gee, can't I get that right? Useless, awful useless. So there must be another boat flying the Makara 7B flag, similar to this one. I got confused now. So that first one wasn't Vupva. Sorry guys. Vupva flying the front of the sandbank it's looking into a huge wave on the other side of the sandbank I think he's gonna take cross it if he gets over that foamy nope another big one standing up behind it even the corridor is ugly for him but he's coming down the corridor, is he going to turn around or run the corridor? He's going to turn around. Yes, it feels like Groundhog Day today for me uh, with this boat. Right back into the channel and he reset himself nicely. Yes, it's cold. I'm making a lot of mistakes today because it's cold. It's really bone chilling cold today. Right in front of the sandbank, then south. It's almost on top of the sandbank. He's staying in front of the sandbank. The current is bringing him to the front of the sandbank. Sharp turn around, coming back into the channel. The waves on the other side of the sandbank it doesn't look inviting, not at all inviting at all, very daunting. Turning around again. Back. And he's on the power. Turning back towards the sandbank. 
standing right in front of the sandbank. You zoom out a little bit, he's moving around a lot. I turn in front of the sandbank again. Just there's a lot of ugliness on the on the two bars. Not even down the corridor it's gonna work now. What worked this morning early, it's not working right now. Oh yeah, it's cold. Oh my god, it's cold. Moro moro, can it? Can it lani? Net paya bitter koud. Ja, hij weet niet. Zijn voetwapen het pikje van een moeilijke launch om te hanteer daar. Daar is handbank blij voor branders voor. Ik maak niet eens hier zo'n woord op nu. Het is gonna punch the foamies. And run down south. He's decided not to go over the sandbank. He's holding back. Oh, no, he's gonna run into an ugly one after that one. He has to punch it. Wow! Motor stream very high. Getting a little bit slower over that one. Going down the channel, the corridor. Coming north. Just one more. That's a beautiful launch. Happy hunting, good pup. Enjoy the day. Small lacquer. Yeah. A butt cat from Sushlui. With two 130 four stroke Yamahas on. Skipper Henny Bischoff. Down the channel, he was planning to run the corridor to the north, but um, that option has closed down for him. So he has to make another plan while he's thinking on his feet. Luckily, the bad cat can uh, do it on speed. Any too close to the sandbank, that's better. Ah, he's stuck on the sandbank. Damn it. Lift the motors and come this side. Yes, he's back in the channel. He's looking towards the corridor, but the corridor is not going to do it for him. He has to punch it right through the front door. He's turning around. For a big boat, that 2 130s push is nice, but he says he would have liked 150s for beach launching here in St. Lucia. Yo, but I'm cold. Look at me shaking. Now if he punches those foamies, he can get out of here. He's turning around again. Oh, he made a good decision. That closed up very badly. Power. He saw a little bit of a gap in the corridor. He's coming down the corridor. Although it doesn't look like a corridor at the moment. And he found the gap. Well done, Any. Just that one ugly one. Yes, you got over it in front of it. Well done. Now he has to run down that corridor. So he's going to face it. He's going to turn into it. Yes, over it. Well done. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Next boat's turn is Stella. Stella coming on, coming on power down the channel. Now 
that's a 22 foot Hellcat Ford Control two 154 stroke Suzuki's counter rotating props this has got an ugly one on his shoulder but he's got the speed to get in front of it yes he's done it Well done Johan, happy hunting, enjoy the Next one is Walter on Free Spirit And Walter is on the power 204 strokes V force. It's a little bit of a big punch on the uh, 760 carry cat, but I think he's going to enjoy them today. He's been eating a little bit of sand over there on the northern bank. And it's closing up on his shoulder. He has to run down the corridor. He has to punch it, he has to punch it. Yes, Walter, well done, well done. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. One more, but he's almost out. Well, we can call that a launch. That is just swells that he's going through now. <laughs> Robert E. Lee. Keep on confusing the boat's names because Dion is now on the boat. Okay. the sandbar quite carefully because once he's in the front there's no water to turn around so he has to get his timing quite right while he's moving down the channel ugly one building up in the back there I don't think Dion saw it he's coming down the corridor but he's got the bat cat he can hit then broadside if he needs to Micah shared as many times what that bat cat can do perfect launch Dion, happy hunting, enjoy the day Advantage, Advantage Charter 1 ready to be pushed with well watch here's day 5 launch 1, I believe they've got two launches today Okay, I heard the 2 250 started. Ooh. It's cold. And Wiseman is battling to get Berno into the channel, but there it's going. And Berno is going to start floating, and he's floating. Oh, he's stuck on the sand. Oh, no, 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 no. Come, 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 come. Current help, current help, current help. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. It's no danger. It's just a heavy boat lying on the on the sandbank there. It's 
Ben are going to turn his bum into the channel so that he can swing him around. Yes, he's going to do that. Well done, Berno. That's the 250s now proving their worth. Cavitating so much today. There you go, he's got traction, he's on the plane. Now he has to keep it up because it's very shallow there. He's got a nice gap. But on yesterday's launch video that I haven't published yet. We saw what that boat can do when it needs to be done. Happy whaling guys, enjoy the day. Advantage Charter 1 on the way back of the, from the whale watching trip. Some nice big surf to negotiate over the sandbank here on the way back. And it's very shallow, so Berno will have to come in hot. Oh, he's going to be on the track of a big one over there. Now he must push it. Yes, yeah, the road motors are roaring. Well done, Berno. Beautiful. People enjoyed it.
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Press on me and pardet. It's free of charge. It just means YouTube will recognize you as an individual on the channel.